guys, thanks for joining me on my latest adventure. So I'm in Greece right now, if you're keeping up. Um, I know it's been all over the place, sorry about that. <laughs> my renovation, for those of you keeping up uh, with this channel, my renovation is still going ahead, but we are having to wait for certain tradesmen, we're saving for certain parts of the renovation. So now I'm back to my day job, I am traveling again. I'm here for the foreseeable, and right now I'm in Milos. This is my favorite place. I think in the world, honestly, it's like, there's just something about this island that I love so much and I know it really well. I've only been once, but you know, when you love a place, you get to know it really well. Um, so I'm staying in a hotel in Polonia, first of all, for a couple of nights, and then I'm moving hotels to a brand new hotel, which looks incredible. So I'm here alone. Um, throughout my time in Greece, I'm gonna be meeting different people, some friends, some work colleagues. Um, but right now in Milos, I'm here by myself and I love traveling on my own. I'm actually gonna make a video about female solo travel because I know it's not something that a lot of people feel comfortable with. And to be honest with you, until a few years ago, neither did I, but I have some amazing tips and tricks for solo travel, but I'm gonna make that into a video within itself. But yes, I'm in Milos on my own. So I booked a boat trip today because, well, when I get out onto the water, you'll see exactly why. It was just the first thing I needed and wanted to do. And I booked a group tour, so that should be cool. Uh, with Polko Sailing, we're doing a Discover Milos tour. I will link all of the details in the description. Very, very excited. The winds seem to be okay today as well. So hopefully we will make it to Kleftico. Last year when I came to Milos, I couldn't get to Kleftico because the winds in Milos are a little bit sporadic. But if they are coming from the south, you can't really see too much in the south. Um, but today I think the winds should be fine. So yes, very excited. First day out on the water. Here we go. I got nothing left to down the water. You said you fall with me. No matter how far it goes, not even under. the most beautiful ride. It takes about half an hour on a quad. From Polonia, I have arrived at one of my all-time favorite beaches. This is Firi Plaka, and it's beautiful no matter the winds anywhere on the island. That color sea. And when you get down there, it's even more stunning. So I'm gonna go down, spend a few hours at the beach.
So this is Placa. Took me about half an hour to get from Polonia. I went wrong once. This seems to be the standard for me lately. But this is just the cutest town. It's famous for coming to watch sunset. You can climb all the way up. I don't know if I'm going to do that today. There's two spots to watch it. And last year I watched it. Actually, I think you can see it like right at the top there, which was lovely, but crowded. And then there's another spot in the town. Maybe I'll just go there or I'll find somewhere to have a cocktail either way. But this town is super cute. And if you only come to Milos, this is like the very Greek town, you know? This is what I think of anyway, when I think of Greece. I'm in full explore mode now, just following each windy road into each windy road. It's so quiet. What do we have through here? Wow. Gosh, how pretty. So I am in my new hotel. This is the White Coast Suites. It's brand new, like I said, I'm one of their first guests, which is super exciting. So the cool thing about this hotel is every single room has a private infinity pool. I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. So this is the bed, bathroom, toilet, very swish. We've got robes, beach towel, slippers, more beach towels, a very cute beach bag as well. My cases were bought in, seating area, TV coffee stand, nice little vanity area, and then an infinity pool. How gorgeous is this hotel? And there's a lovely little treat in the pool for me. I love that. It's so cute. The sun sets there. The rest of the day i think uh yeah this will do so my plan for today is is this this and this alone it's the first time i've stopped really in so long so i need to do some work um no complaints because i mean this is my view whilst i am working I can think of worse places to have to do some work, but yes, I need to uh, be on the laptop for the majority of the day. This place is actually perfect though, um, because the sun is actually behind me right now, but it's gonna move over like that, so I can work all morning, and then have a nice dozy afternoon in the sun. Um, oh, this hotel is so nice. So pretty, so nice, and what an incredible view. And I feel like Milos kind of needed a place like this. Um, because me last I always stay in the cute little B&Bs and you know the, the smaller hotels that are very much get on with your exploring but it's nice also if you want more of like a honeymoon suite because I would definitely recommend Milos for a honeymoon I think it's the most beautiful place but there are not that many high-end more modern hotels so this is just the perfect addition and like I said I think it's going to be an amazing spot for sunset but if it is it will be a game changer for the island I think because there isn't really anywhere that you can sit in your own room and enjoy the sunset so fingers crossed it's a good one. Oh, by the way they gave me a welcome drink when I came in it was like mango lime and a tiny bit of honey I think it's absolutely delicious and I wasn't supposed to be able to check in until three o'clock but they've let me check in straight away so amazing service so far oh and the smell oh my goodness the smell they've got their own scent I'm gonna have to try and wangle a candle or I don't know if they sell them perhaps in like a gift shop or something but I, I need this candle and it'll remind me of me lots but yeah it smells amazing I really like it
I'm gonna go for a cocktail and watch the sunset from like the main pool. I think it's gonna be super pretty and also it's just nice, isn't it, to sit there with a cocktail and watch the sunset. And then I'm gonna have dinner here as well because tomorrow night I'm not sure what time I'm getting in so I figured have a nice dinner tonight. Still looking very spectacular and pretty outside but tomorrow night I know I'll be in this room seeing away the trip. So yes, off to get dinner. They have a full vegan menu here. I've ordered two of their lovely fresh salad dishes, wowzers. The bread is handmade as well. Some fresh olives and still this oh so pretty view. Oh that was yummy. You could probably tell by the way it looked. And now this is the nighttime view with the pool all lit up. This place is really special. Big big fan. But now it's off to bed. Had a really amazing sleep, woke up early, went to breakfast. Today I'm actually flying to another island, which will be a whole new vlog. I had the best time and it's just reconfirmed for me how insanely in love with this island I am. It is my favorite by far. Island in Greece, place in the world. And yeah, I just can't wait to come back. So thank you so much for watching this video, for sharing this adventure with me. Um, I will see you in the next one next week. Bye.